pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. And she totally freaked out and started crying. It was like we caught her red-handed or something. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Wow, that's pathetic. I've never laughed so hard in all my life. <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Bullies. Huh? Did you hear a voice? It's calling me. Huh? What voice? I don't hear anything. Oh. Uh, Maki? What's going on? Are you listening to me? Maki? Hello? Are you feeling all right? Y yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, what were we talking about? <sighs> They're finally gone. Ugh, I can't stand girls like that. What'd you bring? Wanna sell in bulk? Sure, it's a deal. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing you.
Welcome back. I've gotten a lot of my edge back since I've been able to focus on my training. I've been meaning to thank you for that. You've really stepped up as our leader. So tonight's on me. You've got enough responsibility as it is. Something else. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Just don't push yourself too hard. Things will get easier with experience. And if you need anything, let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help. Uh, excuse me. <sighs> I knew it! You're Sonata-san from Gekukon High! I heard you lived in Iwa Todai. But wow! I never thought I'd run into you here! We're big fans of yours. Please, can we get a picture with you? I'm busy, and I don't like having my picture taken. I kept hearing rumors that you were injured. Uh, are you okay now? Do you need any help? I is there anything I can bring you? Wh who do you think that is? Not sure. Celebrity, maybe? Wanna go see? Let's go. Wait, I've had this problem at school, but I didn't think it happened out here too. It's probably because of those interviews. Or the rumors online. I've gotten all kinds of attention as I've kept up my winning streak. Say that again. I'm not some panda in a zoo for everyone to gawk at. All I want is to be as strong as I can. I want to train hard and feel real pride in my strength, but all I ever seem to get is more trouble. Alright, looks like they've given up. Let's head out to eat. For real this time. You only have so many hours left in the day. Hey, don't be like that. I know a place that'd be perfect for us, girl. Please, just leave us alone. We're not interested. One drink, that's all we're asking. Come on, it'll be fun. We said no, okay? Leave them alone. You don't want the police to get involved, do you? Huh? Who the hell are you? What? 
You want to call the cops? Quit trying to act like a big man, you little punk. Yeah, time for you to piss off. You piece of... Hold up. You've got some slick moves. I bet you know how to fight, all right? So what if I do? How about you and I go a few rounds? If you ain't too busy, there's a spot around back. Whenever I see guys who think they're hot shit, all I want to do is put them in their place. I bet a lot of people call you a tough guy. So how about we put it to the test? Hmm. What, is he scared now? <laughs> see? I told you. Nothing but trouble. Stay here. I'll be done in a minute. What? You think you're gonna beat me just like that? But don't worry. I won't go all out against an amateur. It's gotta be a fair fight. <sighs> hey! Over there! Break it up! <sighs> Let's beat it. I told you, officer. They were the ones antagonizing us. And I told you we'll hear all about it down at the station. You're high school students, aren't you? We'll need your contact information to notify your parents about this. If I could butt in. And Kurosawa-san. I'll handle these two. I've already cleared it with the brass. I don't know what's going on here, but you better not be starting any trouble. Then why'd we get a report from two ladies saying you were attacked by a group of punks? They wanted to test my strength. I was just giving them what they wanted. In the middle of a public street? We really need to think things through. Listen, I'm an officer of the law. I don't care who you are. Anyone who disturbs the peace is gonna have to deal with me. As you can see, your friend here is a bit of a hothead. I know it won't be easy, but try and keep an eye on him, would ya? Those are some bold words, but thanks. My arm's healed, then we've got way more dependable people now. There's no better time to test my strength, especially now that we have someone like you. We really lucked out on that one. So I'm gonna keep honing my skills. That way, I can put down anyone I face with my own two hands. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. In any case, don't get in over your heads. I have a hunch the guys you ran into were from a gang that's been active around here recently. Just be careful. You don't want to get on their bad side. Once you're on it, you'll never get off. All right, it's late. You better head on home. So much for eating out. It's been non-stop interruptions all night. <sighs> Kurosawa-san's right, though. We should probably head home. Sorry about this. I'll treat you some other time. I'm gonna do some jogging on the way back. You wanna join? Good answer. It's dark, so watch out for cars. I'm gonna run ahead. You just follow at your own pace.
hear about that girl in 2E? Yeah, I heard they have no idea what happened. Oh my god, isn't it so bizarre? Man, everyone's talking about it. People sure got a lot of time on their hands. So, you hear about it too? What, you think you're one of them cool city slickers? Come on, you gotta keep up with stuff like this. A girl from 2E went missing while she was out late last night. And this morning, they found her lying in front of the school gate. Nobody knows what happened. And supposedly, she's still unconscious. Morning. Yo, Yukata. Man, this is a tough case. Even for Junpei Yori. Ace Detective. <laughs> Ace Detective? You're so dumb. Hmm. <laughs> More like Stupe, Ace Defective. Where'd that come from? Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen you all morning. Where you been? I was talking to the teacher. And that girl they found? I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed just fine then.
its amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Good, good! Not bad, kid! Thanks, kid. Bye bye. See you back.
Good morning. Thanks for all your hard work today. Well then, please excuse me. Oh, can I borrow you for a moment? I'd like to hear your opinion on something. It's nothing serious, but some students think the school uniform should be abolished and they're gathering supporters. because it is nonsense. They think freedom is a life without rules. It's ridiculous, plain and simple. Without rules, the whole system will collapse. They're mistaking selfishness for freedom. Sorry, overreacted a bit there. I hate people with no common sense. I have very little desire to talk to them. And don't take that the wrong way. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. You head on home. I'll lock up here when I'm finished. Get home safely. Hey, you Katarn. You ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, now, they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff. 
right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? I'm interested. Go on, tell us. Mm. You got it. Here goes. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home, a maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A, Anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E and claims he watched her go into the school on the night before the incident. I told him, I don't believe it. Not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it hit me. If the girl was found unconscious at school, then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner. It all made sense. She went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap. I felt a chill run down my spine and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there truly are some strange things in this world. Believe it or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then, let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? Well, leave it to you guys then. Would have been too scary for me. What?
Good evening. I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? I'm glad you remember me. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until next time. Morning. Hey, listen. section.
Hey there. Hits the spot. This flavor's pretty addictive, huh? By the way, dude, why the hell is your dorm co ed? Can you, like, just waltz on into Takeba san's room and stuff? Secret? Yeah, sure. The only secret is that nothing is going on between you two. Well, I'm not interested in girls her age anyway. I'm more into older women. How about you? Discriminate, huh? Interesting, interesting. That's an impressive lifestyle, man. To tell you the truth, this stays between us. I have my eye on someone. This is the secret plan I was talking about. Basically, I'm just gonna ask this girl out. But get this, she's a teacher at our school. Not like that's gonna stop me from making my move. But you gotta promise you won't tell anyone, okay? It might look weird if a teacher and a student are having a thing, you know? Oh crap! My favorite show's about to start. See ya! Tomorrow. 
go.
cup. What would you like to order? Our special today is a fresh mackerel. As you might suspect, we don't serve sushi here. Oh, you're a student, aren't you? <laughs> then you must be from Gekokan High, right? That means you probably know about the persimmon tree there, don't you? Do you think I'm making this up? <laughs> I assure you, it's real. At Gekokan High, there's an open courtyard area. The tree grows beside a walkway there. Please excuse my husband. Just consider it the ramblings of an old man. Don't you worry your little head, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 